Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a voting poll app using MIT App Inventor. So this is just an example, but you can put any poll you want. Now in this poll you can see the question is which do you prefer? And there are four options, MIT App Inventor, Thunkable, Codular and Neutron. So these are just the different Android app creating websites like similar to MIT App Inventor. So now I'm going to vote for MIT App Inventor. So I'll just click on the MIT App Inventor button. Now you can see that it shows one votes. And now the most preferred is MIT App Inventor because it is the one which is the highest right now. Next, I'm going to click on Niatron two times. Now I clicked it on four times. So it shows four votes. And you can see it shows the most preferred to be Niatron right now. So the same way you can vote for anything you want like this and then now you can see Tunkable has 8 votes so it shows most preferred to be Tunkable and now if I increase the code loss votes to be some something like 17 now you can see the most preferred is code loss so let's see how to create this if you are new to my channel my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy so if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first we are going to add the title for this app. So let me bring in a label and I'm going to change the text of this label to be voting poll app. Next I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 30. Now I'm going to bring this to be at the center of screen 1. So let me go to screen 1 and over here in the properties, let's change align horizontal to be center like this. Next, let's go to layout and bring in the vertical arrangement like this. I'm going to put the height of this to be 50% like this and then the width of this to be fill parent so that it covers the whole screen, whole width of the screen. Next, I'm going to bring in a label and the font size of this label should be 20 and I'll make it bold. And the text of this label should be the title or the question of the poll. So the, now I'm going to put the question to be which do you prefer? Next let's go to layout and we are going to bring in the horizontal arrangement again. Now I'm going to put the width of this to be fill parent like this. Next inside this horizontal arrangement I'm going to bring in a button and a label. Over here in the button let me put the text of this button to be one of the voting poll options. So the first one is MIT App Inventor. Next over here for the label I'm going to put 0 like this 0 votes. Next, I'll make this font to be bold and I'll go over here in the button and make it bold. I'm also going to change the background color of this to be orange. You can put any color you want. Next, I'm going to increase the width of this to be 70%. Now, we need to align this at the center. So, for that, I'll first change the font size for this to be 16 or it's your choice. I'm going to change it to be 16. And now what I'm going to do is I'll change the font size of this label also to be 16. Now we are going to align this to be at the center. As you can see it's not aligned properly. So click on the horizontal arrangement and change align vertical to be center like this. Now let's just duplicate it by doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And there you have you, you have two options in the voting poll. So you can put how many options you want. I'm going to put four options like this. And now you can click on the button and change the text so I'll do it for all the options next I'm going to bring in a label and let's change the text of this label to be most preferred I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 25 next I'm going to bring in another label and the text for this is going to be just something like this so over here you will be able to see which one is the most preferred over here in these four options and now I'm going to change the font size of this to be 15 like this. Now we are going to rename all these components so that it will be easier for us in the block section. So for this button I'll just go to rename and the new name for the button is going to be app inventor btn. Now you can see that it is renamed to app inventor btn. Now I will click on this label and I'm going to rename this to be app inventor label. So the same way you can rename all of these 
buttons options and then over here you will be able to see this label which is label 8 the dash 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 label where we will show the most preferred so for this you can put like most preferred label so it's your choice to rename it as you can see i just renamed all of these components so that we can understand in the block section now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create four variables because as you can see over here i have four options so let's say if you have five options or six options in the voting poll you can add that much label variables now let me go to variables and bring in this variable initialize global and over here the name is going to be app inventor votes now over here you can put the name of your option it can be any voting poll so you can put the name of your option over here now I, i'm going to set this to be zero so let me go to math and i'm going to put zero now i'll do control c and control v to duplicate it and i'm going to ch change it to the next option which is modular next when button 1 is clicked so i mean the app app inventor button is clicked so this is the mit app inventor button we need to increase the number of votes so for that let me go over here and i'm going to bring in this block when app inventor button dot click to increase the votes as you can see we have all these variables where we are going to store the votes so i'll bring in this block set app inventor votes to and over here what we will do is let me go to the math blocks and i'm going to bring in the addition operator like this now let me go over here and i'm going to put set app inventor votes to get app inventor votes plus 1 so i'll go over here and i'm going to bring 1 so this means that it will increment the variable it means it will just add it by one each time we click on it next what we will do is after it adds to the variable we need to show it in this label which shows the mit app inventor votes so this label is app inventor label the name of the label so let's go over here and i'm going to bring in this block set app inventor label dot text to and the text is going to be the number of votes so get app inventor votes next we need to check whether the number of votes for app inventor is greater than the other votes for example if this app inventor has like 20 votes and others have less than it we should show the most preferred to be mit app inventor so for that we are going to use if conditions so let me first bring in an if condition and over here what i'll do is if over here let me go to math and i'm going to bring in the this equal to operator and now let us change this to be something like this greater than so now what i'm going to do is i'll duplicate this and if global app inventor votes is greater than so first let's do codular so if the app inventor votes is greater than codular we need to check for the others too to find whether it is the greatest we will put another if condition let's just duplicate this and make sure you don't put this outside like this make sure you put it inside the if condition so first we will check whether app inventor votes is greater than codular votes if that is true then what we will do is we will go to the next if condition which is if app inventor votes is greater than codular votes so let me just change this codular to be something else like neutron or anything you want i'm going to change this to be thinkable next what we will do is let me duplicate it again and over here i'm going to put neutron so now you can see that we have done all the three conditions we are checking whether if it is greater than all the three so if it is greater th than all the three then we should show it is the most preferred so what we will do is let me go over here to most preferred label and i'm going to bring it like this so set most preferred label dot text to over here let me go to text and i'm going to put mit app inventor this one change you need to do over here instead of just showing the number of votes we can also put the number and then put the word votes after it so that it is clear for the user so let me just go over here to text and i'm going to bring in the join block like this and let me put it like that and then let me bring in a string block like this where you enter text and over here i'm going to give a space and then put votes like this now you'll be able to see the number and then the word votes after it next we are going to do the same thing for each of these buttons first we will add increment the variable and then we will show it in the label and then we will add these conditions to find which is the most preferred now i'm going to duplicate this button the blocks and then i'll change this to be 
the second one which is codular button btn so when codular btn dot click you just need to change all of these to codular so I'm, I'm going to increment the codular variable now after you change all of these to codular over here in these if conditions wherever you see app inventor words I'm going to put codular like this and also over here you can see there's a mistake if get global codular votes is greater than get global codular votes so it should be we, we are going to change this to something else which is app inventor because we are we are going to check it with the other three which is app inventor thunkable and natron and then also make sure you change the most preferred label text to be like codular the same way you you are just going to duplicate the blocks and you're going to do it for each of these so now i have the other two remaining which is thunkable and natron Now as you can see I just duplicated them and I have changed the options. So for example over here for Natron what I did is the in the conditions I'm going to put the other three over here. So which is App Inventor Votes, Codula Votes and Thunkable Votes so that I can compare with them and find which is the most preferred. So here you can see the voting poll app. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to vote for MIT App Inventor like this. Now I'll vote for Natron and I'll just press it now you can see that the most preferred is Nitron. now i'm going to increase mit app inventors vote like this and you can see it changed to mit app inventor the same way you can do it for the others now you can see that codular is in the leading now the there's a small bug if two of them are equal as you can see mit app inventor and codular are both of them are 16 votes you can see that the most preferred it shows codular so to fix this it is very easy you can just now let's say i'm going to fix this for niatron you can do it for others too you just need to duplicate it i'll first duplicate the if condition and then over here you just need to put equal to sign in between because we are checking whether they are equal so if two of them are equal then what you can do is inside this if conditions you can put both the names like you can put comma and put inside each of the if conditions next do you want to create a dice rolling game using mit app inventor watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here